hello guys uh, already we have trained our model and uh, now wh what we are going to do we are going to set up this uh, project on our local and we will be starting the inferencing from the video sequence okay so for that uh, here what you need to do so here i have already uploaded all the codes in my github so i will be giving the link uh, in the in your resources section so you can uh, like uh, get that uh, so you can get that link and you can clone that repo so what you need to do you need to click here and uh, copy that okay just copy that and open and you can sub folder empty folder or any you can sub folder you can open and make sure you have installed uh, your git bash and from git bash i'll be cloning that repo so here you have to write git clone just paste the command and execute it so what it will do it will clone my repository here so guys after cloning uh, you will be getting these files okay so let me show you so you will be getting these files uh, so these are the files and uh, now what you will have to do you have to open up your uh, like code editor here i'm using uh, vs code you can open pycharm or sublime text anything it doesn't matter uh, because at the end it's just a code editor and uh, here i have given all the things like your annotation tool and data like i have given all the thing uh, so you can like easily uh, clone that and you can like uh, get a start with and i have also given the model see uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, if you haven't trained your model so you can use my model directly okay uh, but so i will recommend just try to train your own model so that like you can uh, get uh, so that like you can get uh, more hands on on that so let's clear our terminal and make sure you are uh, using this uh, git bash terminal because uh, i have seen like uh, like instead of this uh, windows powershell or windows command prompt if you are using the bash terminal like it is like more uh, i can say more powerful and uh, uh, you can do uh, like lots of things by using bash terminal okay so if you have installed git bash so you can directly use this git bash okay you can connect your vs code see here all my command prompt are here so you can select any of them so here i'm using the bash terminal you can use uh, like powershell but i will recommend just try to install this uh, 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 like git bash terminal okay so that would be good now what you need to do you need to actually uh, you need to actually uh, create an environment and you will be setting up like uh, that one in your local so this is the command conda uh, create hyphen hyphen prefix uh, like uh, dot uh, slash env python 3.7 hyphen y so if you just run that so what it will do it will uh, create an environment okay uh, virtual environment in in that like directory suppose where you project has okay so it will uh, create this environment in the directory and see all the necessary files are there okay uh, i think if you have created any kind of virtual environment and if you open that file so you will get everything okay so but uh, the main thing is like if you are creating your virtual env environment inside your project directory so your c drive would be like free okay because uh, most of the time i have seen if you are creating uh, lots of virtual environments okay so your c drive is like getting full so that is a issue so for that uh, you can uh, resolve this issue by using that command so uh, wherever you are creating your uh, projects okay so in that directory only you, you can install this uh you can create your uh, virtual environment okay so that would be more good so yeah this is the command and if you just run that so uh, your environment will be created so i have already created my environment so what i will do i will just uh, remove that but for you just create uh, your environment and uh, let me do ls and uh, okay i have my environment now what i need to do i need to uh go inside my yolo v5 so i'll be do cd yolo v5 and inside yolo v5 if i do ls so you can see there is a requirement.txt file so this is the file requirement.txt file you have to install that so for that you can write pip install uh, hyphen r and requirement.txt now if i run that So first of all let me activate my environment so conda activate first of all let's clear that 
Now Panda activate activate. Uh, so if you just write dot slash and e and press tab, so it will auto complete. Okay. E and V and press tab. Panda activate. Okay. So dot uh, slash E N V. Now if you hit enter. Okay. Okay, guys. Sorry, actually, I have my environment uh, uh, like here, uh, like uh, beyond this yellow V five. So now, if I do ls, so now see here, I have my environment. Now I can activate that. So Panda activate dot slash env, and if you do, do enter, and see my environment has been activated now. I'll be going to my YOLO V5. And uh, here I have my recommender.txt. And here I'll be doing pip install hyphen r and uh, requirement.txt. And if I do enter, so it will install all my requirements. And uh, it will take some time because it will be installing the torch and some other libraries. So it will take some so it will take some time so guys see it is uh, showing a requirement already satisfied in my system because i have already installed them but for you it will uh, take some time and uh, actually see this code is nothing actually here i have just cloned this yellow v5 only okay so this is the repo i have just cloned okay uh, like same to same i have just cloned and here i'll be utilizing this detect.py okay because all the functionality are there okay all the functionality are there you don't have to worry but here i have just written that file run.py and inside that i have just like you can say paste a command okay so if you just do west dot system west dot system what it will do it will run your command okay this is the command it will run and if you want to do like uh, uh, like you can say uh, inference on top of your video so let me clear the terminal first of all clear okay if you want to do on the video sequence so uh, you have to mention source like it would be like zero okay so let me show you the command once so previously what we did so this is the command okay so this is the command let me copy that command uh, from here copy and uh, let's paste here this is the command and uh, make sure uh, here we have a trained our model so in my drive i have already copied the model see this is the model just try to download that that model after downloading that, just try to paste your best.pt uh, inside this YOLO v5. So see here I have pasted this best.pt. So this is my model. And here you need to define uh, like your model path. So here I am inside this YOLO v5. So uh, it is like in the root folder. So I'll be just deleting these lines. And uh, everything is fine. And I will be increasing this uh, confidence score to 0 0.5 and this source. Okay, so previously we are using our uh, images, test images. So that's why we have mentioned the source like this path. But if you want to do on top of your videos, so here you need to mention zero. Okay, so it will automatically pick up like your camera and it will do the inferencing. Okay, and if you want to see this detect.py, actually, this is like very good. They have written each and everything. If you want to do like uh, explore, so you can. Uh, easily go through that okay if you have understanding on python and if you have understanding on fighters so you can get the idea okay and they're using the open cp only okay inside that and these are some arguments like we are changing here okay so uh, yeah this is like basic code uh, but i will be using their functionality so here we have all the things are available so why you will be creating from scratch okay so this is the command guys actually you have to uh, copy and you have to paste here so i've just done like that so i'll be just removing that one and uh, now if you just run your uh, like uh, run.py so for that uh, python run.py python run .py. and if i just hit enter so it will start uh, inferencing so okay first of all i'll be uh, stopping that because here i have already opened my camera so first of all, let me stop my camera. Uh, 
now let me execute that so guys you can see it has started like uh editing so let me do some pauses to see i'm trying to express i love you and uh let's do yes no no and let's do please actually my system is like a little bit slow so you can feel like and uh, thank you so see it is uh it is predicting uh, from your video sequence okay so let me stop the execution uh, so guys yes uh, this was all about uh, from this project and i think you have got that like how to implement this uh, sign language generation or detection from uh, video okay and uh, now i think you have the idea now i will just request just try to collect your own data and try to annotate and try to uh, train your like data and try to uh, like you can set to prediction so yes guys uh, hope you have liked it and uh, uh, this was all about from this video uh, so thank you so much guys for watching this video and uh, i will see you next time